Well, back here at home, Doppler 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso is uh, watching our weather, and sounds like the weekend's kind of going to be 50-50 as far as, you know, yeah, Sunday good looks, weather, weather Sunday looks great. It's just going to be hot and humid, so okay. something that, I mean, it's typical August weather for us. Right. But tomorrow's looking a little tricky, and it's kind of reminiscent of some of the storms that we've been dealing mm -hmm. with so far this summer, and it, a lot of it has to do with the fact that we're not just dealing with one system rolling through, there's mm -hmm. a couple embedded in there, and that oh, could tend okay. to make the water a little murky when it comes to, you know, what we could actually see later in the day. So models have been kind of pinballing all together, and nothing has really come together as far as any agreement. So it depends on how things evolve through the course of the night and something that's still hundreds of miles away. But our threats haven't changed for us. So we're still looking at the risk for some severe weather, damaging winds, some large hail, and on the low end of those isolated tornadoes and some flash flooding. But again, this is going to be primarily during the afternoon hours for us on Saturday, not anything we're going to be anticipating for us tonight. Right now we are at 75 degrees. Winds are light out of the south southwest at eight miles an hour, dew points in the upper 60s. So it is going to be pretty humid. We have a lot of ingredients in play, but we have some things that just aren't in play yet because they're well into the upper Midwest still. And this is going to be what we'll be tracking going into tomorrow morning about 12 hours from now. It'll be really telling on what we could be dealing with as far as our potential for severe weather. And again, still seeing some active severe thunderstorm warnings just north of Illinois up towards southern Wisconsin and through parts of off to the west, north and west of St. Louis. You're going to be looking at some of these showers and storms that will be crossing through Illinois here within the next couple hours. And we're still dealing with some showers and storms in the northern part of the state. Fortunately, we've been missing out on that, bringing some heavy rain and some strong downpours that will be passing back through Akron and Cleveland area here over the next Next couple hours, but for us, for the most part, things will be pretty quiet. We'll have a couple spotty showers here and there. Temperature wise, we're just going to continue to stay generally in the low 70s, upper 60s. Tomorrow, though, looking like a bit of a different story for us. As I mentioned, we will be talking about the potential for some storms, not only in the morning, but also into the afternoon. So let's take a look at your hour by hour forecast again as we head into the night. A few passing showers possible going into tomorrow morning. And again, by around daybreak, we'll see the chance for some isolated showers, some heavy downpours passing through. And then as we head through the mid morning hours, that's where we could see some tall tale signs on. OK, how is this system interacting with the environment? And if we see a lot of clouds kind of linger through the morning and we're not seeing a whole ton of rain, that's probably going to keep things pretty calm. But I am expecting things to clear up as we head into the afternoon. Now, if we happen to see a lot of rain start to sweep through into the late morning hours, we could very well see some storms fire up earlier into the day. But for the most part, models have been showing a lot of this kind of holding off until later in the afternoon after after two o'clock and then really not showing a whole lot of action for us. So again, still a bit of a tricky forecast for us, but very much looking at the threat for some showers and storms that will be moving through and then even again later into the evening. And this will be ahead of the cold front, which again, where we'll be seeing more of those showers and storms, but things will be clearing up for us as we head into your Sunday and then looking like things will stay clear throughout the day on Sunday. So things will be pretty nice for us as we wrap up the weekend, but it's also going to be pretty hot and humid highs for the day tomorrow again are going to be looking like they'll be in the mid to upper 80s. Similar story for us as we head into Sunday. And if you're missing out on the storms, you're not going to be missing out on the heat. It's going to continue to be hot and humid. We'll continue to see showers mainly through the daytime hours on Saturday. Small chance of rain late Sunday after sunset and then more showers and storms as you head out the door for your Monday. Something to keep an eye out for the start of the work week.